Material Painting Brushes have included 50 brushes plus 4 color palette. You have 4 color palette included, Edvard Munch, Monet, Van Gogh and Oil Paint. All the brushes are divided into different groups, being the oil brushes the main one or the one that you should use as a reference. One of the characteristics of these brushes it is when you overlap them, you can see that they create this effect that is very common in oil painting. The difference between all these brushes, it is depending on the dryness of the brush, or the intensity, the way that they blend, or the, even the color. All the brushes within the set that they have this color um, name, it means that they will change the color depending on the primary or secondary color. So if for example, I change my secondary color to blue, now the brush, depending on the way that I press, it will change between one or the other. We can find eight thick brushes, and the difference between these brushes and the oil ones, it is because the thick brushes, they give us the feeling that we are using way more paint when we are using them. They also create this effect when the paints overlap each other and we can see all the different strokes. The difference between of them, it is in the texture that they, that they have or even we have like a color one that they change a uh, color in the different strokes. Also we have like some flat um, brushes over here that they have like different effects and like some of them as the crunch that it is a little bit more dry you can play around with them to create a lot of different effects in the oil painting illustration for example in this illustration i've used a lot of like flat brushes to create this effect here around the eye or like some of the dry brushes inside of the eye then we have eight canvas brushes and as the name says, the canvas brushes, they give the texture of the canvas. Because that happened, one of the particularities of all of them, it is that they are like very dry brushes, and that means that they don't apply that much paint all the time. The difference between all of them, it will depend on the um, intensity of the brush, the edges, the day that they will blend each other. You may have like an impasto brush, where it will give the effect that you're using the impasto technique. I quite like the canvas cloud because when you use it, they will blend randomly with some of the colors that you have used before, and they seem to be making clouds, but obviously you can create and use this for a lot of different reasons, and I think it looks very cool in oil paintings. And then you have eight expression SM brushes, and as the name says, they allow you to express in different ways that the other brushes um, they don't allow you. They are more random and they behave in a lot of different ways. All of them they are very different between them, and they can vary between even like the edges, the way that they blend, the shape of the brush. Um, they're very fun to use, so definitely have a try at them. The Impressionism brushes they try to imitate traditional paintings from the movement of the Impressionism. The Impressionism is single, it is to create just like a single strokes. The difference between all of the Impressionism one, it relies on the way of the brushes, like for example this would be the normal one. The color, it will add more color to the strokes, they vary a little bit more. The soft, they would get more pastel colors. The messy one, it just blends the colors a little bit more in the illustration and in the, when you apply it. The wet, they blend way more with all the colors underneath and the new colors that you apply. And the quick, it just makes this effect super quick to fill it up the whole of the illustration. The last one, it is the flat and they make the strokes as if you were using a flat brush. The next eight brushes, they are the backgrounds, and as the name says, they are meant to make backgrounds. 
They are like all super soft, easy to blend. Some of the difference between all of them, it is the texture that you create. So for example, this one, it creates more of a smooth painted texture. This one, an impasto one. And this one, it creates a more canvas uh, texture. There are others that they are more different, like for example, this one that it is the cloud one, and they allow you to create like a background that it have this canvas um, texture in some of the spaces. Also, you have here like some of the background dry. They make a background, but just like with, as you would use in like a brush with not much paint. And also we have over here the cloth that it just, it makes this effect of making, the putting a lot of like paint in the canvas, but in a more random way. The two last brushes, they're the turpentine brushes, and they're meant to be used to blend in the colors in the illustrations. The one canvas, as you can see when you blend, they create this canvas effect. And the um, normal one, it just blends the colors in a more soft way. In the set, you also have included three texture papers. This one would be the more normal one. This one, it creates a more impasto um, texture with brush strokes. And the last one, it has a more dramatic and grunge effect in the when illustration. You use a texture paper, make sure that the texture is always in the top layer, and then you can paint underneath. As you can see here, I am painting and you can see through all the texture in all the different strokes. If you, for example, want to see the difference, if I, uh, if I hide the layer on top, there's no texture and the texture up here. If you, for example, you can see that your colors are changing a bit or you don't want to see as much, you can always like lower the opacity of the textures if you wish to have that to make them more subtle or even more prominent. These are some illustrations using these brushes. As you can see, you can combine a lot of them to create a lot of different effects. You can have like more simple ones as these are flowers. Or even here, it's just like a very simple illustration to see how the um, impressionist brushes they work. I hope you enjoy the brushes and please tag us in the School of Illustrations if you would like us to share your work with all our amazing community.